All right, I'm gonna get. All right, I'm gonna get some uh, gravel. Pretty cool, these guys. We started talking about everybody. We kind of, who I know, and they're like, you know what? Instead of pulling this on the scale, just run your truck up there, and we'll estimate what you're getting. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I like that because I'll show you. I'll show you the scale here. Yeah, but Rudy Harding, great guy, disciplined guy. Then I met his son Jack Harding. Years later, he became a distributor for me of a product that was selling called Dry Auction Guard. And he's actually, it was a Verizon. Whoa, B, look at that. That guy just came out of nowhere. Man, that guy there, that guy. Wow. That's how it all plays out. Those trucks there hide that whole area. But there's a scale right there. You know, and yeah, I can back it down there, but oh boy, oh boy. So it's really cool. This place rock and rolls during the uh, spring. Wow, man, if that trailer wasn't hooked very well back there, it'd have been bye-bye. I know, I hear you. You guys all going nuts like I am right now. Jesus Christ, man, come on. Freaking technology drive you nuts. So I come up here for mulch, stone. So let's see here. Turn around, I'm gonna get that crusher run right there. Or that may be it there, I don't know. I think it's just over here. Man, I want this stuff here. Can I make it? This is where you get in these areas, these trailers. This truck here, barely, whoa, barely made it. Wow. I'm trying to pull up. Get in there, I guess. Oh, here he comes. Cool. Let's see how he does. Yeah. All right. That's good. Let's see. We're thinking. I'm hoping he's seeing the same thing I am. Yeah, I'm thinking of stuff over here. Right over here. Uh, I'm thinking I'm thinking two scoops, maybe three. Let me look here. Yeah, that's more for fill in there, right? Yeah, that down, man. yeah, but I mean, for the most part, that's what I have in my driveway right there. Oh, I know, you're good. <laughs> right, you can mix it up too. Yeah, yeah, let's see how this looks. Yeah, I want that. I definitely want, let's do a scoop and we'll see how it looks. Let's do one and see how it looks. What I'm saying is, do one scoop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing all the my YouTube because I got my YouTube channel. <laughs> no, I got a YouTube channel. I show people loud milling, which has been around for a hundred years. Yeah, yeah. So I, yeah, yeah. See right there, Ice Age TV. It's a it's a YouTube channel about cars and trucks and motorcycles and and I do my channel and I share everybody how I'm getting. All this gravel. Just about, man. We, uh, we need, we need this there. That's me, Jarman. Oh, me, Jarman. No. <laughs> well, well, you. Was, that's just saying hello. How are you? Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's nice so of you. You were supposed to say, uh, yeah. Where did you learn the German? You know, I was born a Quaker. I grew up a Quaker. Wow. I was a Quaker. I had my mom. Yeah. I don't know what the black lady, but I had no shorts. Yeah. German. Wow. She told me German, she told me right, and she told me love was discipline. Wow. And it's true. You see, there's no discipline in the world today, man. Right. Man, it was, they say, it's been not in Iceland. Right. And pretty much she told me that's a, I'm an yep. outsider. Yeah. Because when I was a kid, she yep. wanted me to know you don't have to fit in. Yep. Your self work comes from what's inside of you. There you go. Not boy, oh boy. You do, what you have, what anybody else. I has. wish you could be a leader and tell people that in this country well, right now. Or not, as I tell you, it said, um, that T. S. Eliot wrote the Hollow Man. It says at the bottom, at the end of that whole poem, yeah. the world is not going to end with a bang or a boom or with a long, slow whimper. And that's the erosion of society. And it ain't that slow now, man. Right. Yeah. Right. I know. Yeah. We see it. Education is paramount. Right. It is. Right, right. What do you want to know? Yeah. Right. We'll take two scoops. <laughs> hey, vanilla. I want vanilla and chocolate ice cream, two scoops, okay? Well, you can't always get what you want. <laughs> Here we go. There it is.
Yeah. Here's one. Yeah. How about that, huh? <laughs> I think it bounced up and down. Yeah. Probably need more than two, but we'll see how it goes. Let's see how the truck starts squatting, right? Yep. Probably get three. When you ride your motorcycles and this stuff, it's the worst. Yep, this is the operation, man. I think I'm going to get two more. John Deere. Should have these pipes to flatten out a little bit now. I have to put my cover down and do that. Okay. About that, huh? See, that, that, that thing ain't even squatting, man. Look at that. One more. see here how does she play out on this right front right tire seeing it yes he does I'll pull it back a little bit they can See if he knows how to fine tune grooming. Thanks, sir. Now we got to do. We got to roll back this uh, cover. Hope I brought my straps. What now? Yes, sir. Thank you. I'll go up and I'll yeah. Tell him I got four, and I'll be up top to pay. Hey, man, great seeing you. It sure is, man. I'll see you again for springtime. I'm like, oh, I'm coming back to get firewood. I'll probably be tomorrow. All right, see you tomorrow. How about that? All right, now, so we get the, this is pretty cool. Get a little tarp out now. See here? But now, the question is, where's my damn straps? I wish I didn't bring any. Oh, I did. Good. All right, so now what we do here, put there. Hey, you can pull this out and get it. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You got it. See that? Now it keeps this stuff from blowing off somebody's face. And these are little things over the years. Years ago, I bought a dump trailer. And I thought, why the hell would I buy a dump trailer? I'm going to tell you what. I have used a heck out of dump trailers. I mean, this is, you don't use it every day, but oh my gosh, for the manual labor. I used to do so many concrete jobs, and so it's double duty work. I dig out all the dirt by hand, load up the back of the bed of my truck, then I have to unload all the dirt, then I go pick up all the concrete. Yikes, all right, let me do this here. All right, boy, if I was going on a longer trip, I'd definitely uh, be putting some air in those tires. But I'm not going too far up the road, so I'm not too worried about it. That's that's pretty low. Yikes. Yeah, so when you get these things going down the road and too low, they'll blow off the top of it. They'll blow off. I better put this back down, right? Alright. There's my fuel fuel tank there for my lawnmowers and the uh, I got a little 
mud here. Mud City. All right, now the now let's see uh, brake controller set at here. So let's go here. Oh yeah, we want to be a ten. <laughs> All right. Here we go down the bumpy hill. And oh, there's the freaking fracking. I'll just put that on right now, just to make it so you guys don't have to hear all the daggone noise, the chimes, the chimes. All right, this bottom here is bad. All right, we got some loads. So I right now have in that trailer probably four tons. So what's that? Oof, yikes. Four ton, right? So it's 2,000. 8,000 pounds in trailer. So I'm right now at least 10, oh, I'm at probably 12,000 pounds. So right now I feel that. Now look at that trailer now, all loaded up. Then you squat that back in. Are you coming back tomorrow? Well, yeah. What I want to do is I'm gonna get rid of the, the uh, gravel yeah. and grade up my driveway. Then I'm gonna come back tomorrow and get some wood. That's why I came here in the first place. Get wood, but then but you got sidetracked. What now? You got sidetracked. You're right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> all right, Mr. Becca. Thank you very much, man. See you later. Okay. I gotta hang out with you more often. <laughs> <laughs> all right here we go <laughs> all right there we go we are loaded up not too shabby that's 221 dollars in gravel i know if i get a guy to bring it in a full truckload i think they can get like eight i'm not even not even sure but it'd be probably like, eh, I don't know. That's, whatever i get to enjoy them doing things on my own Look at, look at the axle, how it's, the tire's out. Yikes. You know, I bought mud fives for a second. I need to put them on. These big tires just destroy the freaking paint. All right. Where is the power boost on this thing? There are no phones connected. Connect a phone and try again. Oh, I didn't want to do that. So where is it? Oh, look at, look at there. Wait a second. Trailer brake. You'd think there'd be a turbo boost thing here for me. I'm not seeing it. That's all that is. If that gives us anything. There it is. There it is. Let's see what this does. <clears throat> is it is it, you know, when they do the tune speed lockout, what the hell is that all about? See, with that, do the tune and truck. Does that change anything? I have no idea. All right, yeah, we got some weight back there now. So I did four scoops. He says about one and a half scoop per bucket. So actually, we just got what's that? Five, five ton. That's ten thousand pounds. So there it is. See there. We're at 20 PSI, 11. If I really kind of get into it, there's 25.
5 PSI. Pretty cool. I never have ever done that. I've never paid much attention to it. And then the exhaust brake. That's pretty cool. So I go down the hill. We'll see how much of an exhaust brake it has. Oh, there. It, 36 horsepower. Oh, neato. So even way back then, 2014, here's a guy. This is crazy. What are they doing here now? I know the guy that owned that land that died here last year. I was kind of, I used to get dirt from a guy over there for my property. Yeah, so let's look at the horsepower. Once you get kind of coming down a hill here, we'll see how it kind of plays out. But this truck here, I mean, you know, it's the heavy duty suspension. Is that trailer pushing this thing around? Nope. And that's the beauty of these heavy duty trucks. I mean, you're doing a lot of towing. Yeah. So I'm going to go. All right, so here we go. 43 horsepower. Kind of interesting. There it is. Look at that. Do I catch the light? Debatable. Nope, I don't. Okay, so there's the exhaust brake. There's the brakes. Boy, I tell you what. Yeah. Yeah. You, you ain't stopping on a dime in this damn thing. Woo. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I've definitely prepared for a long stop. All right, so now this diesel truck, I mean, this thing isn't like pulling. My power boost feels every bit about, but I mean, trust me, I thought about bringing the power boost, but I really want to drive something different. But right now, this thing is not like radically that much more potent than my power boost. All right, pulling the hills. Coming over the hill. So yeah, right now, I mean, that power boost has, has spoiled me. And this is a 2014 Ram Cummins Diesel. Wonder what the torque. I would think the torque of this thing's got to be 600, 700. I would think. But at the same time, right now I'm definitely at 12k, maybe more on the uh, the weights. I mean, whatever the weight of the trailer is. Trailer, I'm sure, is probably 3,000. So I may be at 13K. Am I at 14K? It's possible. We'll have to look at the uh, the weight of the trailer and get back in. I love that exhaust. Note. I mean, it's so cool when you have these trucks. And here's the thing. The kid's like, let's pipe that 450. I'm like, no way. No way. That's a 2020 truck, and there's no way separating that truck from owning it forever you kind of start doing this stuff borderline kind of made it yours you know what I mean coming back through your town of Waterford that location back there is talking to the guy inside and he's like I said when do you really start to get busy he's like in a week and a half I'm like really he's like if the weather doesn't change much Pretty much by the end of February, the projects start to begin. First part of March. Wow. That's hard to believe. All right. Town Hills. You won't get much excitement out of this one. It's all the vineyards. This area here. Vineyard, vineyard, vineyard. Did I beat the school? Rush? Are the kids out? I think they're already out. Yep. Yeah, look at that mailbox. It's been destroyed a few times. Somebody's got a nice Jeep Grand Wagoneer over there. I think that's the Wagoneer. Oh, back to utility work. I saw, I believe, a 2023... F-150 Raptor today, I think area 
blue, whatever they call it, 37 inch package, good looking truck. I was like, no, don't look at it. I passed this guy earlier. So I guess they're kind of packed it up for the day, I guess. A lot of these uh, areas have mandates where you got to be off the road by 3 o'clock. So that isn't necessarily... They may only have a window of 9 to 3 because of the traffic flow around here. So if you're a contractor doing work that ties up the roads, I'm not embellishing here, they probably have a 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. window. And then that's it. You're right, you have to pack up your gear. This is a nice old home here it's too damn close to the road this this home has been bought and sold at least three times since i've known the home there was just somebody wiped it out somebody crashed just about hit the well the property too million dollar homes left and right That's all this stuff is just incredible. Real estate tax, eh, probably about 15 grand. Think about that. Real estate tax. You need to make 25 grand a year just to pay the real estate tax. <laughs> Conservative. It's 13, 12. You ask me how I know. I own property. A lot of old homes back here. Look at that. 83 horsepower. And that. Putting everything up. Locking everything down. Trailer's doing well. Liking the exhaust note. Tactical garages? What the hell is that? When I moved here, this is all open field. No homes. Goose egg. None of that existed. doing a pretty good climb here in about a second truck handles really good brakes though this thing ain't stopping that great that's a lot of weight back there and even the trailer at the highest level uh on the trailer brakes it just doesn't stop i mean it just rolls to a stop her design this road is so bad it's so narrow this totally like freaks you out because it's it's just the uh, guardrails and everything. It's just a really tight piece of the road. Here we go. We're gonna come up a nice uh, grade. So let's, let's, let's see how this thing handles this. So right now, pedal to the metal. Pedal to the metal, and there it is. I mean, you're not. <laughs> I mean, it just you know the diesels are so lazy. You don't get a run and start on these things. They just totally lose their like power. So it wouldn't kick down another gear. You mean you'd have to do it yourself. This is where I was coming down. This is where the guy drove off the mountain last week. If you watch my video, some guy right here. So go past this next driveway right here at this driveway right here this guy drove his car off down to there which is like what or was it was it there I think it was yeah I'm pretty sure it was yeah it wasn't over here or was it no it was there that's where it was and say it wasn't that bad yeah that's where it happened that was the radical part big time drop off yeah, mistaken. I can't remember a damn thing. This is all brand new. This stuff, nothing here. I mean, 
million dollar homes. Silicon Valley has relocated to the Loudoun County, Virginia area. It's incredible. Amazon, Microsoft, all the big tum big tech companies have relocated this area. So this whole area is going to turn into the California type of real estate market. I mean, the value of these homes are just going to go through the roof. Horsepower. Like cornfields with houses. Just incredible. There's Dickerson Power Plant. Way, way over there. Can you see that? Yep. How is that fired coal? oil. It's coal. I see the coal trains go by all the time. I mean, so I see the coal trains go to that plant. That's coal. So anybody who has an electric vehicle around here, including me, when you charge your car, it's coal. Alright, getting close to home. I'll show you how I can take this trailer and I can make it into his own little dump trailer to spread the rock. Yeah, can I figure that out? I don't know. It's, uh, that'll be interesting. Yeah, see, stopping this thing, like right now, I got my, there you go, I mean, that's pretty good, nothing great. Believe it or not, that land across the way there, years ago, the Chinese bought it. Yeah. That land, all that land over there, the Chinese used to own that land. They sold it, but I mean, isn't that comforting? Right next to my house. As we round the corner, here she comes. And we come in and get the, uh, now I gotta get the driveway organized, get the tractor out probably, blah, blah, blah. Let's just see how it all plays out, right? See, the challenge here for my driveway is I bring a dump truck in. This one big tree, the, low, the branches are too low. And what ends up happening is the, uh, the dump guy can't really raise his thing up all the way. But I'm about to pull this thing down and then back it up to do my run. Sometimes backing up a short trailer is more challenging than backing up a long trailer. Until you do it, you don't really know what I'm saying. But it's the, uh, it, just, it cuts so much faster. What I'm going to do here is kind of get this thing straightened out and kind of walk the area that I'm going to kind of do. Let's see here we got here. How light this is. So I need, I need to do like a need to do like a pull through here. And see here, this is pretty cool. This has like what the dump trucks have, where you can uh, make this tailgate just open up to however far you want it to open up or not. And, uh, and then you drag it. You can pull the trailer. You as you go along, you raise the trailer and you you dump it. Right, first thing is, so here's my vision is I'm going to kind of pull some through here, but the bigger area is up here. This is the area here, it's starting to turn into mud. So I really got to go heavier here through this area and then kind of up here on the top. So, the goal is I'm going to start pulling forward here and then I'm going to cut it. And hopefully, if I do it right, I'll probably get my tractor out. All right, time to crank this thing and this is so useful anybody out there buying a dump trailer buy the freaking uh, cover it's well worth the money spent you should have stuff flying off down the road and buying somebody a windshield all right so now <clears throat> if you look here even for me I gotta kind of scratch my head on how I do this 
and see the whole goal here is I gotta pull this pin here and see that I guess you go like that there is that it I think so yeah it is yep yeah, it is all right so I go over here I haven't done this in a while same thing see that oh does it have two different positions hmm interesting I gotta go over here I need to catch that a little better I don't think I went too far see here there it is all right now <clears throat> what I think you do is this here and this here does that have a pin too no, I don't think so so this here once I raise up the uh, truck I'm pretty sure that what happens is this uh, this kicks out well when I raise the bed so let's see let's see how that works right now I charge my uh, no, if you take your cable here take the cable here and pull it out what's good is they give you a long cable so you can actually uh, look at that see that thing uh, good thing I charged that battery ooh is it going to make it ooh yikes yeah so let's go back here so that's a lot of weight and does that tailgate kick out as the sh load shifts there it goes I think I see it happening maybe just got to get a little bit of inertia on that thing see that I'd bust them loose. Why not? They'll probably all open up on me all at once. I can't believe that thing's not doing. There you go. Oh, let me tell you. Oh, better go down. <laughs> so, what should I've done? Oh, I see the chain. So I gotta, I gotta get that chain tighter. Hello. All right. So I'm all right. So here's what I do. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Not the end of the world. So move the truck up here. All right. Now I'm thinking I'm figuring it out. So I just did three, one, two, three on each side. That's pretty cool about this this here is you take your uh, remote control for your dump, run it through your window here. I can get up the truck now. And what I can do now is uh, I can take and uh, I can do this right here. Move the truck forward and let's see here. Let's see here, look. So now I'll go up a little further and see how that looks doing that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out just so we kind of start seeing what type of flow it has. All right, let's try this again. We've got tractors and all other stuff, it's not that big a deal to clean that up. See here. A little better idea of how much we're spreading. It takes time, though. It's all about time, right? There you go. A lot of, a lot of material, but I kind of start moving the truck as I'm doing that. I guess I'll be all right. So I guess what I'll, what I'll do. We should probably be a little tighter. All right, I think I got it now. I think that's a little better spread. So I kind of go up now. And that's good. All right, see how, see how good a dump truck driver I am, right? Put this through the window. Take this up off the ground. All right, let's see what we can do now. All right, get the brake off. I'm 
doing? I think I'm doing okay. Am I? Kinda. We're going up. Kind of see a path right there. Nothing great. <laughs> the amateur. I was doing pretty good until I kind of stopped here. Wow, look at that. All the material is gone. Wow. Yeah, so definitely need my uh, my tractor. <laughs> yeah, wow. So that was, what I just say? We threw five tons of gravel just poof, disappears. Yeah, unbelievable. Yep, so what do I do now? So I'll just go ahead and keep on pulling forward, drag a little bit more. That should probably be it. like dragging on the ground what's that all about right wow so let's go ahead and put her down she doesn't want to let this thing kick out now that's the smartest thing to do so yeah there's that's professional and well all reality helps the tractor grade out a little better but they already sick their amateur right oh it's just the little things Look at that there. Look how that came apart because it wasn't screwed all the way down. Nice. I was going to open up the tailgate and let her be right here like this here. So you can still, you can still uh, get away with this in here. Do that. Get my boots. Ooh, don't want that. That's a whole other ball game. What can play out here for the wrong reason? Yep. Alright, get the old hands dirty and be done with it, right? You know, let somebody here because it's going to jam everything up. You see that? Yeah, that's not good. Uh -huh. Yep. What about that? That's not comforting. Alright, let me figure this out. All right, the adventure continues. I tell you what, $200, I think $231 material sitting on the ground here. Isn't that incredible? Just beyond believable where we are in today's society of money and what you spend and look how much you get. Wow. And what happens here is the engineer of this property, is most, this would never pass code. So this house was a 200 acre farm and a gentleman by the name of Jim Athey bought the, uh, this house at a tax auction and he then took the 200 acre farm and cut it up into this subdivision here and when they designed it and engineered it, it's the worst possible design in the world because they didn't engineer it properly. All the water comes down off this hill into my yard. And they should have mandated put huge piping, like major sewer piping through my property down to that pond. Because in major huge rains, 
all that water comes down from up there to here and it literally overflows in my driveway and washes out my driveway there's so many times my driveway has been washed out i actually did the trenching for the property to get the water keep on coming going down when i first moved here there was no um pipe this was just a little you know from a to b over there and so i actually went out and back in my really early days i didn't even have i didn't even have a tractor to do this i had to get very creative on how i did all this work and then by hand and then got this pipe in here and that's highway that is highway grade uh pipe where concrete trucks have come through my driveway and won't break up but the whole point is a lot of my gravel gets washed out and it gets washed out down my yard so it's just the engineering of this whole development it was not by today's code no way wouldn't be able to do it all right let's now get the john deere tractor out and let's go ahead and spread all the gravel and then just years back i developed this whole area is that in i mean this used to be all grass there used to be a big humongous tree right here that i had to take down where that john deere tractor is it literally grew into that building and if you look up here you'll see at one time that tree literally grew into the building is pushing the whole building down so i took that tree out and i graded this some and then i put all this rock in here and yeah it's a never ending project just keeping the grass from growing back in here but i really want to get the trailers for the most part off the grass into the gravel and uh and that was that was a lot of gravel that i converted this whole area when i first moved here it's just all grass the sheds are all open except that one over there blah 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 and i used to have my own gas tanks i have two 550 gas tanks that i can't give away i'm not lying nobody would take these things so years ago i used to have like 1100 gallons of gas on my property for the what if if because my business revolves around riding a car around every day of my life so but that's a fiasco because if you don't use that stuff it just turns into water basically so anyways let's get the tractor out oh, hello there hi they're like hey dad what'd you do to us dad what happened dad you left us you abandoned us yes we did so all right now let's see if they figure it out watch this here do they figure out what i did do they play with the gravel all right time to start the big 40 44 hours it's crazy what i paid for a tractor during the pandemic and this damn thing's worth every bill i paid for it I used that during the pandemic because I did a bunch of tree planting. See, planting all these trees here, hopefully they're going to grow up eventually, kind of shade this area more. So when people come around the corner, they don't see all my stuff in my wife's car. She'll never get rid of this thing. Never. Never, ever. <laughs> this car, last time this car was driven was uh, 2013, 10 years ago. Yeah. And I told my wife, like, I mean, she thinks that, yeah, I'm like, yeah, right. <laughs> All right, let's get a big tractor here. Start her up, and let's start the driveway work. I put a lot of hours sitting on this thing, just grading the stuff. And I've got a lot of tractors. So, all right. Hope the battery, got a battery alarm. That's not good. I used to be all Kubota. I used to be a huge Kubota guy. And no more I'm old John Deere now. I just wasn't a John Deere guy. First of all, too damn expensive. That's the first thing. So, it was back in, I guess, 2000, like, I don't know, 17? 16, 17, I think I bought this track. Sold my last Kubota. I got pretty good money for it. I bought this. All right. That's our grade in here. That takes two hands and concentration. First thing I did on this tractor is put a tooth bar on it. See the teeth down there? It makes it a little easier to kind of grade things. So that's got a straight blade on it. Another thing I see about the uh, John Deere, you have a front or a forward reverse there. 
brake here. So this tractor here, I could use it to grade as well. But I kind of like the uh, the tooth bar setup on this better. So what we'll do here is we'll go around this here. We'll start pulling backwards instead of forward, not hitting anything. All right, the project begins with a before and after look here. Let's see how I do it. He has a lot of technology on it on how you drive it, use it, and all that good stuff, and ground speed, and everything else. All right. We're on down here. Kind of tilt the bucket back a little bit. Kind of do a little bit. Kind of get us going here, but it needs two hands. kind of grade this out and then the uh, just driving the vehicles over the gravel just kind of puts it in its place for the most part. And, uh, definitely need more material but oh well. Never enough. Look at that. That whole bare spot right there. Yep. Might be able to pull back a little bit here. on it now little by little having tractors and trailers and all that good stuff a lot of money though you know <laughs> spend a lot of money to have this type of lifestyle so you do it you don't get it So I'd be like, why just pay the driveway? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think the bill would be for that? I'd be one of that 20 grand at least. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Plus it keeps the good old farmhouse charm look, gravel driveway. The good old days, right? Plus, what the hell else would I be doing with myself? Right? Know those type of people? Yeah, you probably do. You're watching a guy on a YouTube channel, it's like that. I like that backup noise, like on the commercial, on a commercial property, so I'll be able to get the hell out of my way. That's cleaned up pretty good, not too bad. Definitely could use an R load. You gotta go up here and get an R load? I don't know. Let's see how tomorrow plays out. Might not be a bad idea. Pull some back here. So that plays out for us. See, too much gravel isn't great as well. Especially so you got motorcycles. It's like being a daredevil with the bikes like slip out underneath of you. That's a challenge riding these bikes and loose gravel. So you own one, you don't get it. Yeah, if I got another five ton, it would definitely kind of probably finish everything out up there and pretty much behind me. There's the other Ram person right there. How about that there, huh? We're making a little progress here. I think we're about done for today. All right, we got it for today. A little heavier rock here, a little heavier, which is kind of a little concerned by the bikes because uh, this stuff's loose. 
but it'll pack down. So anyways, thanks for watching my another tow video day. Uh, what an adventure. Anyone know how I did that? <laughs> Good Lord. It doesn't end. Got a part the truck and trailer. So thanks for watching. Ice Age TV. And see you in the morning. Have a great evening.